and on my own. All of my friends in and out of church were married, or at least in a serious long-term relationship. Yeah, everyone. Everyone but me. I was the queen of celibacy, and I hated it. But it was not by choice. But even though I was without, I didn't want to be with what I deemed was just any old thing. See, me, being a good woman, I deserve a good man. Now, not knowing my father nor being raised with a man in the house, I didn't know what a good man was. Not really. But I wanted a man, a husband, I should say, because I wanted to live holy. Now, some of my girls had up to three good men. They were juggling all at one time. But me, I couldn't get just one. So one night, I got down on my knees. I said, Lord, help me, please. And I prayed. I mean, I prayed without ceasing. I prayed a fervent prayer. I asked the Lord to send me a man, but not just any man, a good-looking man, a man who knows what to do, if you know what I mean. <laughs> See, well, I should have been a little more specific, for the Lord, being the great God that he is, he answered my prayer. But not only did he answer it, he sent me two to choose from. Yes, he sent two minutes of my life. Now, we all know that God is a God of free will and choice. There's the right choice, and there is the wrong choice. Well, I chose there, the love of my life, and my now ex-husband, who promised to love me to death. Come on, Ava, open up! It's crazy. Now, I'm selfish, you don't seem so bad. Go away, girl. You're not even supposed to be here. I want to see my kids. I have rights. Open the door now. No. Neva, don't make me. Don't make you what? Neva. Don't make you mad? Don't make you hit me? Look, I didn't mean it like that. Then how did you mean it, Daryl? Oh, I know. Don't make you huff and puff and kick in the door and then me? <laughs> now you got jokes. Then me and your kids that you love so much will be evicted from this place too. No. No, I just want to see my kids. I want to come in and sit and talk. That's all. I've changed. Changed? Are you serious? Come on, please give me a chance. Let me in. Wait, Daryl. For real. What? The kids are not here. Oh, I know. You want to finally finish the job? Is that it? You want to kill me? Where's more dad anyway? These bills are killing me softly. <laughs> Boy, what is you doing? Where are you at? Where is who? You know what I'm talking about. Where are you at? You're just drunk. You don't know what you're talking about. Girl, why are you talking about that junk? So come on. Let's do this. This has got to stop once and for all. You say you changed, well, I've changed too. This time I'm playing for all the marbles. Marbles? What the heck are you talking about, girl? I can't keep avoiding you, and I'm sick of living in fear. Fear? If you did like you were supposed to, you'll have nothing to fear. My actions were a mirror of you, and I promised to love you to death through his part. I was supposed to be your wife, not your punching bag. Like you used to say, you were grown behind man. Well, I'm a grown behind woman. Girl, what got into you? I'm tired, girl. Because there's some things I need to get off my chest if I'm to move on. I want me back. I also don't open with reason without the field mess. No, girl, please. You need to grow up. <laughs> you got a backbone now. That's kind of nice, but that's enough. Come here. Baby girl, don't fight it. Stop! Nobody knows what I'm trying to Get off! No, girl. Oh, man, you better drop my drink. Hey, drop my drink, girl. You're not hitting me anymore, and my name is not Hey Trick. If we do not stop these malproductive, negative displays of emotion, we will be buried another family in the fatherless hell's ditch. On the enemy, I would not wish. I am not a pin cushion to be poked and pulled on and turned to light. I say to you, the mortgage is due. Pay what's up. Where's your paycheck? Now, now you want to fuss because of fight? Then later, you're so very sorry. Oh, baby, please, baby, please, baby, please. And want to do it all night? No, that ain't right. 
I am not a pen pusher. And your desire is not a magic wand. It rises and you think it ceases all the world's misery and harm? The bill collectors don't care about your skills. How you make me feel is not enough. That's what makes it so ill. Our children get the raw end of the deal. Now we need time to heal or do you even care? Do you even feel? My, My name, name is not hatred. Sometimes I pray to God because what I'm feeling inside. Add my neck to the fortune I'm living because I'm too scared to slash my own wrist. And if I shot myself, I probably did. <laughs> then I really be pissed. Do, Do not, not hit me anymore, especially. Especially in front of the kid. It's hard enough to keep their respect. Our daughters will grow and may allow being kids. And that son's my child to suck around his. Is this the kind of legacy you want to pass on? Is this what you want them to relive? Yeah. It's not about love anymore. Now it's about survival of the fitness. Mental versus physical. <coughs> Body under mind. The author of confusion. Decent and in order. The creator is not in this. Now I'm alone. I'm alone, yes, I am alone. The twine that once united us together is now ripped. I am my own flesh, with help from extended family. I am mom, having to feel in for dad. Sometimes I do get lonely, but at least I'm not beat up, cussed out, or mad. Brian broke a wonder what we should could have had, making glad. Walking on eggshells, dead. Plotting to do something red or consoling the kids because they're upset and sad over mom and dad. Do we deserve, do we deserve, do we deserve to be treated so bad? It's hard, but the master is cleansing me from the inside out. Now I can say my own name with less pain and shame. I'm tapping into the powerhouse to fortify the brain taking control of my body, my children in the way I must train. It's a struggle, but a positive brain. Now the road to peace, the road to peace, the road to peace is my game. No, it's no. You want that kind of a trick? Call me by my name. Oh, <laughs> 